Imagine the world today if every home and business had to have its own power generator, and every time additional power was required, that generator needed to be upgraded. This was how the world of electricity began. Soon, that changed to a centralized system that distributed power to multiple customers through its grid. Customers could use just what they needed and pay only for what they consumed. This same transformation of centralized production is happening in the technology world today through cloud computing. The cloud is a new model, allowing on-demand access to shared computing resources via the internet. By deploying hundreds or even thousands of servers in minutes, organizations can spin up resources as they need them to experiment and innovate more quickly and frequently. It is companies like Amazon Web Services, more commonly known as AWS, which are leading this transformation. AWS is the global leader in cloud computing services with a footprint of 44 availability zones across 16 infrastructure regions and millions of customers in 190 countries around the globe. This has made AWS the fastest growing multi-billion dollar enterprise IT vendor in the world. AWS is coming to the Middle East via Bahrain with its construction of a new region comprising multiple large-scale data centers ready to empower organizations of all sizes with cloud computing. The AWS cloud allows organizations to focus on what really differentiates them and leave the heavy lifting of the underlying technology infrastructure to AWS. Bahrain is the first country in the Middle East and one of the first globally to adopt a cloud-first national policy to data, with an ambition for the majority of data from government entities to be moved to the cloud. This is just one of the reasons AWS has chosen Bahrain, along with its central location within the region, world-class fiber-connected broadband, and its regional long-haul intercontinental cables and landing points. The arrival of AWS will benefit organizations in Bahrain and across the entire Middle East. In real terms, AWS will create the opportunity for organizations to make substantial savings over on-premises IT hardware and infrastructure costs. It will remove the need for costly maintenance and equipment upgrades and introduce the critical elasticity and agility within their operations. As businesses will only pay for what they use, it also allows for rapid scaling of operations on demand as well as geographic expansion. Every organization stands to benefit from AWS's presence in Bahrain, even those not directly associated with it. Bahrain will upgrade its infrastructure to provide better internet and fiber optic connectivity. AWS certification, one of the world's most valuable ICT qualifications according to global knowledge, will be available free of charge through Temkin, opening up entirely new career fields to Bahrainis and rapidly expanding the kingdom's knowledge economy. The job-creating potential of new cloud-enabled industries such as big data analytics, cybersecurity, the Internet of Things, and the sharing economy is huge. In addition, Bahrain's $32 billion investment pipeline will also benefit from the efficiencies and cost savings AWS will bring, while organizations within Bahrain are already reaping the rewards of utilizing the cloud to transform their ICT operations. Of course, what's good for Bahrain is also good for the Middle East. MENA is one of the fastest growing cloud markets in the world and the AWS region will be available to be utilized by businesses and governments from across the Gulf and beyond. They too can benefit from the same cost savings and improved connectivity AWS provides, along with lower latencies and AWS infrastructure that is close to their end users. AWS's arrival marks the start of cloud computing in the Middle East, with Bahrain right at the heart. Better efficiencies, better cost effectiveness, better scalability, better security, better flexibility, and better productivity. Welcome to the new digital economy.